As we all know, in psychoanalysis especially, we know how. Uh, knowledge does not necessarily involve truth, even if it is a true knowledge in the sense of uh, adequate knowledge. For example, we know, we, well, we all know, I hope they are so well known, Lacan's outrageous statement that even if, it's a little bit made chauvinist, but nonetheless, even if a jealous husband claims that his wife is cheating him, that she sleeps around with other men, even if they are all true, his jealousy is still pathological. So that, you know, the, the factual truth can be, or adequacy, can be combined with untruth. Why? Let me give you a much more traumatic example, which makes the same point clearly. Let's take what Nazis claimed about the Jews. I think we have to go to the end here and claim, even if, okay, not all, I wouldn't go so far, but even if some of what they claimed was true, nonetheless, anti-Semitism was totally, totally a lie, a fake. Why? I think that that's my general point, that the moment you even think about uh, endorsing, accepting discussion at this level, like, for example, let's say, I don't know, I'm a I'm an Nazi, you are an honest liberal, and I say, Jews seduce our young girls, Jews exploit us, and I say this. You say, no, this is a lie. Then comes a naive university neutral idiot and says, oh, it's difficult, let's take an objective look at it. <laughs> you sell your soul to the devil if you do this. Because let's be clear, the result will be unambiguous. Yes, the Nazis exaggerated it, but not quite. Because wait a minute, now say something horrible. Many Jews were also rich in Germany, so yes, they definitely exploited Germans. On the other hand, I hope so, it's normal. I think that some Jews definitely probably were seducing German girls. Why not? You know what I mean? Why is this false? Because the true, uh, how should you put it, uh, the Nazis here, even if it were to be true, but it wasn't, of course, they lied in the guise of truth. Because the true question is not, is it true what they are claiming about the Jews? The true question is why, in order to sustain their, their politics, they need this fantasy of the Jew. Why they need this phantasmatic figure of the Jew? And incidentally, it's the same, I think, even today with Iraq. Here I got, here I think that many fake leftists fell into the trap of accepting the terms of the debate. And when Americans said we have to attack Iraq, because it's a terrible regime and so on. No, the point is not to argue, no, Saddam is good. Of course he's bad. But I claim the paradox is that even if all the statements about Saddam were true, and incidentally, now you say something horrible, even I was slightly surprised, I thought they would find some weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> or at least, I mean, couldn't, uh, couldn't CIA or American army apply the old creative lesson of drug-busting American police. They don't have drugs, you plant them then. My God, we live in 21st century. No, no but, but my point is that you, you get my point. This is not the true question. The true question is not, is it true what, what they claim about Saddam? The true question is a totally different one, is what kind of new logic of hegemony, new world order is established in this way and so on and so on. I think that to accept even to accept these terms and then to argue, you put yourself into a totally idiotic position, you know, when there you have to argue, oh, but it's not so bad, some people nonetheless supported Saddam. That's not our debate, my God. That's not the level. That's not, again, that's not the level of, of truth. 